Hi everyone. I've got new clothes. Can you tell? <laughs> She's I got a new very sweater. excited about her 80s workout gear. We're here at our house again, of course. And coronavirus day whatever. What did we just figure out? Six, Six weeks, weeks at home. Six weeks at home. It's been okay. I had a it's hard been day. Great. <laughs> But I had a hard day. So we are. Tell us about your hard day. I just had one of those days where everything feels overwhelming and hard and not fun and stressful and sad. <laughs> and so we're gonna make a recipe for dinner that I really enjoyed making and have enjoyed making and it's super easy but it's really good. Okay so this is the recipe I use for naan. It's really easy. It's from a website called Half Baked Harvest and it is a really 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 simple recipe. That was a big first step. <laughs> so much focus on the honey. Ugh. Gross. Do you want me to touch you? No. Did it for you? No, <laughs> get away. Why not? You let that mixture sit for a little bit and you let it bubble. So like the yeast will start to work. What should we talk about? How was your day? <laughs> I didn't have a super productive day. You know those days when you're just on Zoom calls? And I had three Zoom calls today and they did not all feel productive. And then I answered lots of emails, but that also did not feel that productive. And I didn't work out today. Today was a rest day, so I was a little bored. I don't know, I missed working out, like you. And I'm kind of stuck in my instrument flying stuff. Can't do much more until we can start flying with an instructor, which I can't do right now. So, you know, it just kind of, I had a super busy day, but I didn't feel very productive. I had a lot of things to do today, but I didn't really do them. Mm. That's how I felt. I felt unmotivated and tired. And I took Kat on a run, so that was good. But I she heard know. her name. I'm just not feeling very motivated lately. Probably how a lot of people feel. Do you need to get outside? I got outside today. That was good. I feel lucky that we can go outside. That's nice. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. Other than that. We so before you were saying home life was the best, are you over it? Home life is still the best, I think. I still know that if I leave home for more than like three days, I'll miss it. That's just how I am. But I, there's a little monotony, a little bit of monotony that's like getting hard. I'm sure it's hard for everyone. Are you sick of me? I'm not that sick of you yet. <laughs> Sometimes I'm sick of the fact that you're like not unaffected by everything, but you're like kind of robotic about everything. It's almost like you're watching a movie of all of it happening and you're just like taking notes on the facts and the things that are going on, but you're not actually like processing them in the same way as me. So That's a great description. Like you're acknowledging. I'm fascinated by the process yeah. of it all and it's what's like going to happen. It's like you're watching a movie and you're like, whoa, like what a crazy movie that's going on. But you're not actually like internally affected by it. Like we have a really hard emotional conversation and you're like, that was a really fun conversation. And it was so interesting. And I'm like, that wasn't fun for me. That was hard. It's so. fun to me because it's like life. Life is happening. Yeah. What are you adding? Okay, so I'm going to add three quarters of a, cup of a cup of whole milk. Wait, did it bubble? Or are you rushing it? it? I mean... Show, it, show us some bubbles. It's not really 
rolling. Oh. But like whatever. Hey, we're hungry. Let's see. Tilt the bowl way down. It doesn't look like anything. Wait, nothing's happened. I know. And now we're gonna add a cup of, well, it's supposed to be full fat Greek yogurt, but I only have non-fat. No, how did we end up with non-fat? I think it was the only thing that was available oh. at the supermarket. One teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of kosher salt, and four cups of flour. One. That's the bread attachment. So then you just mix it up. This is what the dough looks like. We're gonna knead it into a ball and then we're gonna let it sit for a little bit while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so we didn't quite let it rise all the way because we're hungry. Um, but we're only gonna use a part of it because we're gonna just chill the rest of it for another time. So then we each get probably, I don't know, this much now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, I put, I have a floured surface. I'm just gonna roll it out a little bit. With your rolling pin? Yeah, I don't have a rolling pin. Might need more flour. But you wanna roll it out until it's like a circle. It doesn't really need to be perfect, like at all. important part you want to put butter on both sides before you put it in the pan what we do is you throw it on is it hot enough mm -hmm. and go higher it says to cover it but I don't actually have a good cover so How's it look? So good. <laughs> Very exciting. Mm. And <laughs> the best part of the meal. Look at that naan! Woo! So hot. Let's go eat!